Hello everyone, this is Manisa the Poet, your diamond in the rough in the city, still looking pretty coming to you guys today with yet another YouTube coronavirus quarantine video. Today's video, I'm out and about and I'm having another chop it up session with you since, you know, my last chop it up session <laughs> seemed to have ruffled some feathers. Um, I'm not the type of person that, you know, worries about ruffling feathers. Um, I say what I feel and... Yes, you to a certain degree have to consider people's feelings in life, you know, and not be cold hearted and say things that's disrespectful or heartless. Have compassion, be humble, but this is not really about being humble. I was sharing my opinion, which everybody has an opinion and everybody has a right to. And my opinion was about how I felt like people don't always support you, but pretend to support you or it being the people that's closest to you that won't support you. That doesn't mean that I'm over here crying because I don't have support. There are people who genuinely support me and show love and I do not forget those people. And some are family and some aren't. But it was just about the fact that, you know, everyone has a right to be happy and do what they need to do. I see a lot of times on social media where people say keep your private life private and you know more or less don't show people what you have going on in your life good or bad don't show anything until it comes into fruition and in some instances I can say I agree with that but in others I can't say that because in, in terms of me and what I do if I don't show my poetry that's my work my body of work which would lead someone to say okay that poetry book she has out is good because if she's writing like this then i can imagine what's in the book if i don't post my shirts for sale or my hats tees shorts hoodies blah 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 then who's gonna buy something they don't see so it's not a matter of showing off it's a matter of this is how i have to market and publicize my items because I'm not mainstream. I don't have a million dollars or tens of hundreds of thousands to drop on advertisement. When people purchase my items or when I have new pieces out, that's how I get it out there. Now, a lot of people don't always understand that, you know, but it's not for me to have them understand. How am I going to have a future and feed my family and leave a legacy for my family to be fed after I'm gone? if i'm worried about what people think um so with that being said this is why i do what i do i can't be no no other way than the way i am which is to take care of my business and worry about my business i don't really worry about how people feel but it bothers me sometimes that so many people act as if you know people enjoying life or even sharing that they enjoy life is a problem. First of all, social media is a, is a sharing website. You share pictures, you share experiences in your life. And some people live vicariously through you and they're happy for you. And some people don't. That's just the way it works. But I'm not going to stop being happy because people don't want to see me happy. And I'm not going to stop living my life because people don't want to see me live my life. I don't flaunt everything I have and I don't put it on social media, everything I have, but whatever experiences I choose to share, I feel like be happy for me the same way I'm happy for you. And if you can't be, it's not going to stop me from being a good person and showing love regardless, like I said in my last video. Um, in terms of people saying that they have such a problem with people doing that, let's be honest, when celebrities share that they have babies and share that they bought new cars and wear new outfits and how much they spent for it and who's the designer nobody has a damn thing to say about it but as soon as a person that i guess is considered to be humble quiet steps out of the 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 shadows and says oh god this is happening for me now it's my turn everybody has a damn problem that's so foul because let me tell you something i'm the type of person it could be jay-z and beyonce stepping out on the red carpet doing their thing or it could be 
the bodega man at the corner who expanded into a bigger store. I'm happy for everyone. Because like I said in my last video too, it shows that it's possible for me. If I didn't say that, I'm, I'm letting y'all know. That's why I can be happy for everybody because it shows that it's possible for me. And not just on that basis alone, but just because it's hard enough for people. Why not be happy for people if they're growing, living, and experiencing better things in life? Shoot, I'm trying. I'm not even gonna say I'm trying. I was listening to my Sunday service which usually happens on a Saturday, but this 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 particular week is is a Sunday service. It's for three days. So it's more than just Sunday. I was listening today too. And to be honest with you, it says it took extremely a, a lot about faith. And I'm grateful that it's talking about faith because when you go through so many hardships in life, you tend to lose your faith. Your faith gets weakened. So I'm going to be honest with you. I need that to build up my faith. Whenever God shows me that he can work and push me through any adversity that I go through in life, he's my faith builder. Okay? So, through his son, Jesus Christ. And I'm not sitting here being a religious nut. I'm not sitting here telling y'all that everything I do in my life is 100% perfect. No. We all are saints and, and sometimes sinners. Okay? The thing is... You live, you learn, you grow. Making mistakes is the cornerstone of people growing. So, I talk because I wish sometimes I could hear a word of encouragement like that. And a lot of times, I'm not going to say I don't. I had, what, I was having a rough day one day. <laughs> I think it was last week. And I met this so nice, this, this lady was so nice at 7-Eleven and she just was full of bursting with positive energy you know expressing to me my coffee lid wasn't all right and she didn't want me to spill it on myself and she wanted me to have a good day and why not help out if she could and let me tell y'all something that lit my day up and it set the precedence for the rest of my day the rest of my day went like that then another guy he was nice to me and then another person and I was nice to people kindness is infectious so when you kind to someone else, it makes someone want to be kind to someone else. And it helps a lot because we going through this pandemic, regardless to the fact of if most of it is cured, it's not a 100% cure. We're still wearing masks. We're still being vaccinated. You know, we're still being told that there's other variations of the illness here. So... I don't think that you should just be kind on that basis, but I think that that's enough to show that extra support that people need to get through their days. Um, I've been doing YouTube this long in a long time, and I talk with my hands. This is something that y'all probably going to see for firsthand. I don't think I show this a lot on my videos, but I talk with my hands, and I get that from my mother. But the funniest thing is... I definitely I'm gonna slash this into a story time because it comes to mind when I'm sitting here talking okay so I was at work and my lieutenant held me down this is a lieutenant that I used to have it out with all the time because he just was on my body he just was always on me and I felt like oh I just want to kill him but I didn't really have anything against him. It's just he was hard on me. And sometimes people are not always hard on you because they dislike you. Sometimes people are hard on you because they see a piece of themselves in you. Now, I don't really know what part it was, but here's how it went down. Okay, I took with my hands. So, um, in my line of work, I was talking with my hands. Someone tried to report me because I took with my hands, right? And at the end of the day... My lieutenant was like, no. Basically, I'm Sicilian and I took with my hands. This is just the way of some people. And my family's from the South. So, you know, we express and we articulate big. So, it's like Italians and Southern people and 
people from those homegrown nationalities where everything is family you have to really express yourself to be heard so speaking with your hands is also a kind of way of expressing yourself now don't get me wrong if i'm doing a if i'm doing something professional like a job interview i am about to talk with my hands i probably will fold my hands and you know speak in a way which would not offend the person interviewing me or make them feel uncomfortable and i do try to do that in daily life but sometimes if i get excited it's gonna come out and i was excited talking to you guys just now i hope you guys enjoy <clears throat> my video i don't know for some reason sometimes i get all scruffy and roughy and it's funny because i don't talk high I have a low voice and sometimes it's funny because people say they can't hear me I don't know it's funny for me because I can hear myself speaking <laughs> which okay clearly Manisa you would hear yourself speaking but it's like like literally I've been in the job do and I have to put my mask on and people have been like you know you have to pull up to the next window because I can't hear you so I'm sitting here like what the hell do I really talk that low and literally, I had to ask my fiance and my daughter a couple of times, can you tell them what I'm trying to say? You know, not because I feel like I can be heard, but they really didn't hear me. So, sad face. But when I'm passionate about something, when I'm angry about something, I can raise my voice. I guess an octave. I don't think it goes above that but that's how you know that the mood is changing so I threw my little story time slash chop it up session in I hope you guys enjoyed it this has been Manisa the Poet your diamond in the rough here comes the noise just in time and the city thanking God first and foremost have a good day